Hello, this is Vertical Measures, and today we'll be discussing the use of alt tags to optimize your images on your website. You'll see here I'm starting at Google, and the reason why I'm starting here is so that we can discuss a little bit about how Google indexes your images so that you can better understand what you need to do in order to make them stand out. So I'm going to do is click on images, and then I'll type in an image search for garden. As you can see, this comes up with many different uh, variations of images for gardens. If I scroll down, you can see there's many pages. And Google has stated that they've set this up like this so that it's very easy for you to look at images and click next and just kind of really scroll through very quickly to find the pictures that stand out to you personally. There's also options to filter your images, and so you can filter them by size. You can show just those images that are small, and you could show images that are very large. You can also filter them by type. This is include uh, gardens in the news, gardens that just include faces, clip art, line drawings, and photos. You can also filter it by color if we're looking for a specific color. So this gives you kind of an idea of how Google is indexing your your photos and it also gives you an opportunity to rank very well if you're trying to rank for specific image searches. Uh, you could really try to focus in on particular filters that would help you to get ranked within these images. Next, let's take a look at an example on a page of a website. So here I'm using Vertical Measures website as an example. And you can see this is our SEO tutorial videos page. And if we look here, we've got some images. And if I hover over the images, you can see this little tag pop up. That's the title tag. And you can see, if you hover over each one of these, that each of the title tags is making use of keywords to describe what the picture is about. Also take a look at the all tags. These are a little bit more difficult to see. Typically what I do is I click on view and source. And this pulls up the source code for the page. And then I click on edit and find and I type in alt equals and if I click find next it'll take me down through the images and here we can see the uh, image code starts with IMG and then alt equals SEO video you've got your title here choosing the best keywords you can go through and look at all the images to see that I'm using alt tags Now, if you didn't come up with any alts, you could also do a search using this code to find where your images are. And then you could check the code to see if this alt equals. And then within the quotations is your alt tag. Same with title. You could look at the title here and then again in, in quotations. The other thing that's important for your images is the naming, the actual name of the image. And to find that, we can right click on the image and pull down to properties. And this will show us right here the name. And here we've named this one best keywords JPEG. Let's look at this one. This one is meta tags. And these are all thumbnails, so that's why they say thumb. So again, we've used the keywords to name each one of these. And that's important because uh, the URL, the actual address where this image is kept, if we put it into our bar here, this is what Google sees. And you can see there's the URL. And at the end, it's bestkeywords.jpg. So that 
really all of those things kind of give Google an indication of what this picture is. And this is taken straight from Google. These are image optimization best practices. So Google recommends that you think about providing your user with the best experience possible. And this includes providing high quality images, good titles for your images, which would also include uh, alt tags, strong captions, as well as detailed descriptions around the image. Related pictures, so you could have additional pictures that are related to the image that you're providing, and the ability to provide ratings for images. That concludes this segment of Essential On-Site SEO Tips. These are critical factors to achieve higher search engine ranking. If you're missing any of the elements of today's video or need help implementing any other on-site SEO strategies, you may contact us through our website at www.verticalmeasures.com. Thanks for watching and welcome to Intelligent Internet Marketing.